Hello everybody, welcome back to my action figure unboxing and review channel, and plus, you know, because I'm doing more toy hunts, stuff like that. Anyways, today I have an amazing review for you. Found this at my Walmart, I was surprised they had these two, but I'm only unboxing one right now and then the other later. But this guy is absolutely amazing, this is one that I saw online, I was about to buy it, but I was like, I don't want to spend five, six bucks for shipping, so... Then I found it at Walmart, and I'm like, yep, I today I have for you all. Transformers, Dark of the Moon. So yeah, this I saw, and I was like, oh, it's my movie. Mine. <laughs> but it was, it was the first one that I saw. The other one I saw, and hooked on Pig um, before him, and I was like, yep. And then I saw him, and I was like, yep, even more yet. So, the movie is definitely my favorite character. So... When I see something movie, it, it, it's mine. It's in my pocket. <laughs> it did. It, it will be mine. I'm trying to figure out if I have something to open it up with. Because I do not have a knife. <clears throat> so, but anyways, yeah. So, here's the box. Yeah, Transformers, Dark of the Moon. Um, Side, he is number. Number is he? Did I show them? Though? I don't see a number on there, do you? <clears throat> I don't see a number. But anyways, usually there's a number. So there's a side image, and then here's the other side image. Absolutely, I love this side. So amazing. And the back. I can't really see it too well. There we go. See vehicle mode, and then what mode. And just come with a blaster. So, yeah. I was happy I saw this. Because mobile B... And Optimus are my favorite, and but I really love Bumblebee though, too. So, anyways, we're gonna go ahead and open this guy. All right, so mess with that. but anyways, I'm pretty sure this is Chicago or whatever uh, place that they fought at. Um, um, but overall. He looks really cool. He's like a little tiny bit. He's, he's literally, literally bumblebee right now. Literally, 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 literally a bumblebee. So yeah, he looks absolutely cute and awesome at the same time. But yeah, so here he is. He has a little show on. Him. Bam. Back looks like. Yeah. But for the most part, it looks really cool. So, and then there's this gun. I don't know if you can see that or not. There we go. Um, but yeah. This, this head does like to come, go up and down a lot. But anyways, so let's go ahead and do some articulation. So arms, not that much. And... So, yeah, you can get a full 360. Just pull the door in and pull 360. I will say this part wants to come up a lot, so just be wary of that if you buy one. Um, he's got a, what do you call it, a um, elbow bend right there. Yeah, bend it. You can twist it all the way around. You know, all that stuff. Same the other arm. Bam. Boom. Can't really see too looking. Try to do this best I can with what I've got for the room. <coughs> um, but. Yeah. And then legs. You got that much. Can't go back because it's got all this in the back. Boom. Bam. Yep, and he does have a knee bend. Not a huge one, though. But it's about that much. That's what you can get for a knee bend. Can go inwards on it, too, though. So, uh, feet. Those can move through the front and back because of transformation. Um, same with the other leg. Boom. Me a little bit. You know, 
inward a little bit. Same with the foot. And just like that. And then head. Those are the ball joints. So, again. Put it on. Make a bang your whole head. And then the wings, you can move all kinds of craziness. So, yeah. So, that's him for the most part. I'm going to go around and do a kind of a close up show, I guess. Got my like that. Doors. And the back. No. Arms. Legs. Feet. Yeah. So he's a nice little tiny bumblebee. For 12 bucks. Yeah. Worth it. Mm -hmm. And then he transforms too. So we're going to have fun with that. So I'm going to try to figure that out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to angle the doors first. I'm going to put his feet in. No, Do what I know right now. Clip his legs and feet together. Like that. And then, let's see here. Probably what you want to do next is um go ahead and flip this all in. I don't know. Well, how in the heck did this come off? The thing about the arms is the wheels are the only thing really connected to it. Well, that's really, that's the only thing bad about this right now is how the arms are connected. It's not too good, I tell you what. I don't know. Yeah, no, I'm gonna come off. I can put it back on when I get to it. They're just saying the arms are really weird. Anyways, and later they will get them put in there once you do. So right now we've got basically the car. Click those in, I guess. Didn't know it was click in, but now I do. And that doesn't want to click in right now. Back is clicked in. Okay. Now, once you get that, I'm going to go ahead and try and shift this if I can. Yeah, I know you guys can't see where this worth nothing because of my big hands. Let's get this up a little bit then. This is what it looks like right now. Don't know why. Or what's going on right now with this? Just click in right now. Back these as well. Click to the middle doors.
somehow let's just shift down. Maybe not. Maybe it doesn't shift down. Maybe it does have to shift up and then it gets up here over here. To the middle door. The door. Okay, now that's what it's looking like in the middle. So, and the arms. So there's these two. You can see them in there. Right there. And then on the wheels, you got a little circle showing that you got to peg into there. And then. Those under there. I think that's our arm. <laughs> yeah, that's our arm. We back. So when you get the arm in, what you want to do is you want to pull the door back out, and there's a little peg there. So you see this peg right there. Yep. So in the hand, it's open, lay it in there, and then raise it up just a little bit, and make that peg go into that, into the hand, and then once the click, boom, you're on that, and then you do the same thing with the other arm, get it all set up that way, boom, bam, you're good. And then you just, if you want to do it this way that I'm doing, you want to take out the arms because they're being a pain, and then you put them back in. Right now, it's the easiest way I'm thinking right now. In the hand. And the only thing that I'm still worried about is. Now that's not going in there. This side is this side. Okay. Alright, so I don't know what's going on with the doors, but you can see there's still a line there. It's like not connected, but it is. Same thing on this side. But for the most part, it's cool. <coughs> Very nice vehicle mode there, you know, get on top, all that, but other than that, that's what's wrong. Alright, so now we have them transformed, the only thing is a few things don't want to click in, or, you know, we have a little bit there, it's open, and one here looks really bad, and I don't know if it's me transforming it that did that, or if it's just how they made it, you know? To me, that was like how they made it, and they kind of messed up a little bit on that. But, anyways, looks very cool. So, uh, you can only hear one tire. That's this back one going. Actually, you got, you got three tires. This tire's on one, this one move. Oh, wait, maybe now. No. Okay, you to click this in, and then you click that in, and then. Move. We're doing nothing at all. We get three tires in movement, and that's it. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, wait. Maybe I'm wrong. I got four. I got three again. Anyways, yeah, so that's, that's the only weird part about this is there's a few things iffy about the vehicle mode. Yeah, you need a fix that but we may just buy the bigger version of it and then call it good and the gun on there looks really cool you know so yeah overall it looks really cool so now i'm going to go ahead and re-transform it back and then we'll do close-ups all that stuff whatever else 
So I think the first thing we're going to do is open these doors real quick. Get some doors. Then you want to look at the arms like so. And then you want to twist them to where they're on the outside again. So, ball for 60. Turn the arm to where it's like that. Hand a little bit. You can even have a basic board. Alright, and then legs, do that next. And then you want to look at the feet, bone, feet, bone. And these do something, I just don't know what they do. No, <laughs> I don't know, I don't care. Alright, so next, what you want to do is you want to look at Bombie's head. You can. Go, reach that up for top, and boom, you're gonna boom me again. Right on, right on. Boom. And bam, you got boom me. And then you want to take his gun, right? A great pig will then go into his hand, I believe so. And then, yeah, and then you have his gun on him. So, overall, really cool. I think I love Wobby. This, um, it's great, but it's got some things to it. So, like I said, the wheels under the all that the wheels how the wheels are connected to the arms and all that it's kind of weird um when you have a vehicle mode you can only use three tires unless if you use a very specific way you gotta clip things in to make it work but yeah so anyways now we're gonna go ahead and do some pictures and other stuff like that um uh, close up 360 and then uh, outro so let's go Studio Series uh, Transformers 
Dark of the Moon, Bumblebee, Core Class, Unboxing and Review. I'm going to give this figure an 8.5 out of 10. I absolutely love the robot mode. The vehicle mode is kind of iffy. Still good, but not as good as the robot mode. Um, I'm probably going to buy this figure in the bigger version of him. The um, Deluxe or the Voyager Class version of him. Because it's just vehicle mode and the robot mode both look really good. So, yeah. Overall, really good figure. Um, the gun looks great. He looks great. And so, it was awesome they made that figure in there. So without further ado, thank you all for watching this video. Make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and comment down below if you guys want to see any other Transformer unboxing reviews, any figures I should pick up, or any other type of figures. Marvel, DC, Star Wars, I should pick up and do reviews for. So without further ado, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.